The bomb exploded as a lunchtime crowd spilled out of offices into a small food market close to Delhi's income tax office and police headquarters. It was the first bomb attack in the capital this year, but just the latest in a series. Last year, 24 blasts claimed 13 lives and wounded 240 people. Described by police as crude devices packed with nails, most of the bombs have exploded on city buses. It's thought that this one was hidden under a street vendor's cart in the food market. The blast shattered windows in nearby buildings, including one in a creche. 45 people were wounded, nine seriously, but the children in the creche were unharmed. As the injured were treated at local hospitals, politicians were already demanding an end to the bloodshed. Frustrated by the investigation into the bombings, which he said had failed to turn up a single clue, New Delhi's chief minister called on the city police chief to resign. No one's claimed responsibility for the attacks, but fingers are being pointed at Indian secessionists and at intelligence agencies in Pakistan.